Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to take some packaging material and make a light fixture out of it that would hang on your ceiling. I got this little package thing, I'm not sure if you can see it completely, out of a pin. It was like one single pin that was wrapped in here and a company was trying to get me to buy their pen for my company. So I thought, wow, that's got to be good for something and I'll hold on to it. And today I thought of this. So this is what we're going to do and I'll show y'all. Hang on one second. Let me get... Okay, so once you have your little pieces cut out, you're going to leave the four corners on them. And that's so that you can attach it to the ceiling of your dollhouse. It'll end up hanging upside down like that. Okay, now I've already started painting the other one with the first coat. And you can use any kind of nail polish you want. Um, gold would probably look the best, but I didn't really have a gold, gold color. I have this. I'm going to try that next to see what looks nicest. But right now I'm working with this golden brown, and I've got one coat on there. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take, if you have a container like this, that or a packaging wrap that came like this, you want to go ahead and just paint all the way around this little edge. Okay, you're going to need to give it multiple coats. Don't expect it to go on the first time because it's not going to. It's like doing your nails. It takes quite a few coats to get the color that you really like. Okay. All right, now for that little top lip, right around the dome that's here, you want to get as close as to this bubble that you can without actually going on the bubble because the bubble is where your light is going to shine through. Well, that is if you're going to have working lights. Okay, so once you get the first coat of nail polish on there, it'll look kind of like that when you're hanging it up. And don't worry about if you get on this part here because you're going to actually cover that up with your sealing paper. And if you don't know how to do the seal and stucco paper, then go on my YouTube channel and I have a tutorial on that. Okay, so we're going to let that dry. And one more thing, if you don't want your dome to be super clear like this, and that is if you have this packing material, but if you don't want your dome to be super clear like this, spray a little bit of mist of hairspray on it and it will darken it right up. Okay. So now I'm just going to go ahead and start giving this one its second coat. And you can do these in any color that you want. It doesn't have to be the colors that I'm choosing to do. And I have an array of nail polishes, but it doesn't seem to be any gold in there. <laughs> I guess gold was not my nail polish color when I do my nails. Not that I do them often. Because I can't stand having nail stuff on my nails. But when I do do them, I have tons of colors but gold. Again, you don't want to get it on this bubble if you can help it. However, if you do get it on the bubble, let it dry completely, and then take a toothpick and put it on a tissue with some nail polish remover and take the point and go over very delicately where you got it, and it should remove it.
All right, so it looks like that's got the second coat pretty much well covered. And if you want it darker, you can have it darker, that's fine. Just keep adding more and more to it, and eventually you'll have it to the color that you want it to be at. But so for just purposes, pretend this is your ceiling, and then we'll have it upside down, and then that's what it would look like hanging on your ceiling like that. Okay, let's see if you can get a closer look without it getting too blurry on you. All right, so we'll wait and give that a second coat and we'll be right. Okay, so I've just given this one its second coat. Another thought I wanted to give you, um, if you have any empty pill containers, you know, the ones that you pop the pill out of the back of that has the foil on it, they're made of the same material. So if you have any that has like a, um, like a roundness to it or a, um, I don't know, like maybe a really nice texture you think would look good as a light, you could probably do the same exact thing because it would be the same kind of material that you'd be working with. Okay, so there it is. I kind of like the one on the left. It's a little bit gold. It's not really gold, but it's close to gold. But that's what it would look like hanging up. And then, of course, you would have to wire your lighting and put it through the floor to drop your LED or whatever kind of light you're going to use down in there. I use LEDs in my entire dollhouse because they last longer. And um, they're a lot brighter and they don't put off heat like regular lights do. I can't just keep that up, can I? But anyway, that's what they look like, and you can make multiple colors if you like. But anyhow, um, follow Dollhouse Miniature Madness and Tutorials on Facebook for more DIY. All right, thanks a lot, and have a great day. Okay, guys, so if you want to do a little girl's room, you can take some paint nail polish and um, take the pink, and paint one pink and what I would do is get some real fine gems that they sell for your nails I don't have any of the little diamond ones that are clear but if you can see those in there they sell those where they're they look like they're um, diamonds I would get some of those round ones and I would glue it along the side of that and if you're doing a boys room you can paint it blue and maybe put some stars on it and hang it from the ceiling but um, that's about it. Thanks a lot, and have a great day, and follow Dollhouse Miniature Madness and tutorials on Facebook.